a lot of friends and family here. Pitico comes out strong. Look, looking strong very fast to Torqua Torquato. It's just a little more. Let's say Bittencourt looks more intense. Torquato's measuring her up. Good low pit by Bittencourt. Paulo starts aggressive with a solid leg kick. A good kick now from Torquato. They're clinched. The couple at the back to defense. Pressure from Apollo Bittencourt. from Bittencourt, Torquato trying to get out of this position. Bittencourt was kind of faking some kicks just to see what uh, Diana Torquato would do. Diana Torquato ended up moving, and they, they continue sizing each other up here in the middle of the cage. Forward contact, but Paula beating four. There's a few of her own. Well, two minutes left here in the first round. This is a title fight, so this one can go very long. thrown there by Bittencourt as Torquato is moving forward. Well, so far, a very close fight, Thales. Yeah, it's been close until now. We are studying each other a lot, throwing some kicks and trying some punches, but nothing too much. Until now, uh, Paula Bittencourt hit some more solid punches than Torquato. Torquato just got a body shot, then she went for a kick. A good job there by Bittencourt. Torquato not backing down at all, though. She is moving forward. Yeah, she moves forward all the time. But he, she's receiving some punches. And a counter attack. Oh, 
Two good kicks. She had a good yeah, kick in the very spinning. She is spinning for sure. End of round one. A good fourth or quarter because she felt it a little bit this last one, I think. It was a good first round. In my opinion, clearly 10 9 for Paula Bittencourt. And in my opinion, the key to the victory for Paula is keeping the leg kicks because Torquato just felt the kicks. At the end of the round, she felt two kicks and she shows a lot. Uh, Thales, correct me if I'm wrong, but I got the impression, I got a little bit of the impression that uh, Paula Bittencourt was a little tense in the beginning. Yeah, at the beginning was a little bit tense, but she was growing and relaxing during as, the round. As time went on, she kind of let loose a little bit more. Yeah, it's a lot of pressure for both, of yeah, course. Yeah, and, and a lot of pressure for both, but then Paula Bittencourt has practically the arena behind her, so yeah. maybe pressure to perform even more for the guy, for, for everybody that's here. Yeah, yeah, it makes a difference. Uh, she just took a big breath right now. Uh, Diana Torquato, she looks calm. And let's see what these ladies have for us in round two. And they already go at each other. Hold on. Seems like this is even more intense of a beginning here in round two. Paula beating court, connecting well. Nice uppercut. And Diana Torquato is going at Bitten Court. Bitten Court taking the advantage of counterattacking well. Bitten Court with the pressure on Torquato. Torquato throwing some knees, hoping to just swing it around and put Bitten Court back on the fence. Torquato shoots, get away from the fence and works the leg kicks, making a lot of difference. And in my opinion, this is the key to the fast victory for her. Very difficult, tough moment here in the match, in the fight. I'm gonna try to follow through with a high kick. Uh, you see how Torquato, you know, put his his leg up to show I'm here to defend, but she's feeling the leg kicks. Yeah, the left leading leg right there. Yeah, yeah. One or two more kicks, strong kicks, and she's done probably. Let's see what Torquato does. Inside leg kick, she's throwing some punches. As Diana Torquato is trying to kind of keep Paula off of her, keep her at a safer distance. Yeah, the key to the victory, in my opinion, for Torquato is move forward, don't, don't give him a lot of space for Paula kick her legs. She has to close the distance. One, two, three, now they're clinched up. But she was connecting them back and forth quite nicely. And Diana just fighting through it, wants to go for a takedown. Paula's corner is yelling to her, get out of the clinch, get out of the clinch. They are right. And Torquato wants to go for a takedown. Wants to take Paula down. Nice way to get out of the clinch. Throwing a few punches, make the distance. Now it's Torquato with her back to closer to the fence. And she needs to get out of being cornered by Paula Bittencourt. The corner, the entire corner of Torquato is screening. 
kicks, kicks. They are screaming kicks a lot. I don't know if she's hearing it right now. Ethan Chris seems to be a little more focused on the handwork, but we'll see. See? Throwing the hands. Yeah. Oh! There you go. It's not that she's focusing on the hands, I guess. She just, there's the right moment to let it go, and that's what she's doing. So did Paola Bittencourt. Last 10 seconds here in round two. Good second round, Thalys. Uh, Paula Vitencourt looks like she was a little bit ahead of uh, Diana Torquato here in round two, maybe? Yeah, I think so. Another round for Torquato. In my opinion, she won the second round too. 10-9 for her. She's doing 20, uh, 30, 28 right now. Remembering, this is my opinion. So another round for Paula Vitencourt. And now, Paula won the first two rounds. And you now for Torquato, she has to knock her out or submit her. There's no other chance to get a victory in this fight. She has to do all or nothing. with round three. All of Bittencourt coming out there, but Torquato, the one that throws the first few punches. He tried to shoot in, Bittencourt was able to keep her uh, distance. Oh, Torquato was able to connect a, a few punches right there. She's moving forward. She's trying to force Bittencourt back. I think she knows that the first two rounds could have possibly gone to Bittencourt, but she's, she keeps going forward, not moving back. Just remembering this is a title fight, so we do have five rounds here. There's time for Torquato to attack and try to get a few rounds. Punch well. Bittencourt is bleeding a little bit from the mouth. I'm just remembering that Torquato uh, does have a lot of experience. 11 wins, 5 losses in her professional career. Paula Bittencourt, 5 wins, 1 loss. And Torquato has fought for titles before for belts. Uh, she fought in Invicta, two, she had two title shots. This is the third title shot of her professional career. And she's throwing the knees here against Paula Bittencourt. She's just trying to work a takedown. She wants to take Paula down. Went for a knee to the face. 
Yeah, I don't think Torquato wants to take Bittencourt down. I think she's just getting her points. Okay. You know, and hitting. Even foot stops. Just trying to keep busy and look like she's keeping busy. Center of the cage for the throwdown. Good uh, leading left hand there by Paula Bittencourt. Oh, these girls are not stopping. They're throwing some strong punches. One thing I'm also noticing here, Thales, is uh, as far as the hair is concerned, um, Paula's hair is kind of getting in the way of her face once in a while, so she has to always adjust it while the braids that uh, Dino Torquato has, they're, they're consistently staying there. Uh, yeah. I don't know if that can really get in the way of Paula, but She's always having to put her hair behind her ear. She's used it to do yeah, it, yeah, yeah, probably does. during the train. Yeah, another leg kick. Mm. Diana connecting well, nice kind of Superman punch. Yeah, I will tell you something, Diana is growing. She's growing, she's receiving another leg kick, but she never stops to move forward. Getting more and more confident as the, yeah, the fight yeah. goes on. Kick from Paula. We, we talked about that kick in the uh, in the second round. She changed her base to Sopa, but oh, Paula became good. Just threw her down. Uh, Diana needs to try to roll to her knees, but she's still down. She's holding on to Paula's leg. She gets right back up, but she's better for Torquato in this instance. Last few seconds here of the third round. Round three in the round books. Three. And it's my bad. I thought, you know, the fight was for three, five minutes round, but it's the title fight. It's five, five minute rounds. My bad, I'm sorry. So, in my opinion, Torquato won the third round too. So, 32. 27 for I'm sorry, Bittencourt. Paula Bittencourt won this round too, so 30 27 for Paula Bittencourt. And you know, like I said since the beginning, the key to Paula Bittencourt's victory is the leg kicks against Torquato. Torquato, she's showing a lot of heart, moving forward all the time. And this was the, in my opinion, was the best round for Torquato. And that, that moment, she goes to the ground because she felt a lot, the leg kicks. She's feeling a lot, but she's still moving forward. I'm watching as she's walking. I think I can kind of tell the leg. She's feeling her leg, we'll see. Two true warriors out there fighting for the title here in Shuto. Brazil. It's the Bantam Weight title. Torquato shooting in. Shrugged off by Paula Bittencourt. Good kick. And Dina Torquato, she hasn't yeah. been successful at shooting in. Now she's showing that she really wants to take Bittencourt down. But Bittencourt know it. Oh. And look at that leg, Torquato's leg. She's definitely feeling it. Yeah. I think Torquato is feeling the leg kicks a lot. She wants to change his base, her base for the Salpa, but she doesn't know how to fight on Salpa. See? Yeah, yeah. 
and her leg is actually there. Yeah, it's swollen. Yeah. It's pretty. It's pretty swollen. You can kind yeah. of see it. She's feeling it, so she's gonna stay on the ground. We'll see what uh, what Paula pa pa tells her to get up. That's what Paula wants. She's gonna work that leg. See? Couldn't shoot in. Yeah, that leg's hurting. And Thad has pointed that out in round two. We're in round four now. And Paula just on her feet, trying to kick those thighs. Some strong kicks by Paula. Paula's not going to go to the ground. What a warrior. What a warrior. Yeah, real, real warrior. She's feeling that left leg. She, see? She tried she to gender her base yeah. to southpaw, but she doesn't know how to work in southpaw. She felt so uncomfortable, though, she, that she preferred return to the orthodox. She's just... See? Kicks kind of try to keep Paula away from her. There's a lot of time left in this fight. Two and a half more minutes here, and then a whole another five minutes in round five. Paula beating Cortez, Diana to get up. And yeah, well, she's trying to protect that left leg, but she, like you said, that is. She goes right back to orthodox. When it comes down to, to punching, to moving forward, she can't really do it with her uh, right leg leading. And yep, she's feeling that. The crowd obviously is going to put a little bit of pressure on that. Yeah. Quattro. The crowd wants to put the pressure, but to her quattro, you know, she shows a lot of heart. She, she doesn't give up at any time. Now she's staying on that southpaw position. Yeah. And a good kick by Paula Bittencourt on that right leg. Another good one on that right leg. I think she will need crutches for tomorrow. Yeah, we need some crutches. And she's feeling that leg. She's leading with the right leg now. At least she's protecting the left one. But soon enough, that right one's going to start hurting as well with those exactly. kicks. She tries to shoot in, but she just has not been able to. The only chance now is knocking beaten course down. Or she'll meet her. But she's still moving forward, trying. She's still trying. And she throws some knees here to the midsection of Beacon Court. Surviving in round four. Not bad, not bad. And she's showing to be a warrior, Diana Torquato. Yeah. Paula Bittencourt just doing what she has to do. She's, she dominated round four. Yeah. Like, it's another round for Torquato. No doubt about it. And, like I said, the key to the victory. Uh, everybody knows what will be what what she, what uh, Bittencourt has to she has to do. But you know, uh, Torquato shows a lot of heart, a lot of heart. She never give up. You no, know? her legs are killing her, but she's still fighting forward. 
And she's standing. She could be sitting down right now, but she's standing as her yeah. corner is talking to her. She has a lot of experience. She's 16 fights in her career. Forward. She's leading with her left leg again. She's able to get a few punches in there. Torquato. But Paula Bittencourt is moving around there. She's evading Torquato for the most part. And she's very comfortable. I, 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 Paula Bittencourt looks really, really comfortable in the mat and in, uh, in the fight. Rato keeps busy. She keeps throwing these knees. Now it's Paula Bittencourt's chance for that knee. Defense here in round five. Back to the middle of the cage. After Kraft, I mean, you really got to give it to her because she keeps on moving forward. Let me think we're working with her advantage. Went for that low kick on that leading left leg. And then after Kwatu putting the pressure on beating Kuo here against the fence. A high knee there, maybe a little bit of contact with beating Kuo. Torquato, it's all or nothing right now. That's why she's leading with that left leg. And maybe hurting, but now she has to give it her all. I mean, Torquato has connected a few punches, but no punch that I've seen with knockout potential or anything like that. Yes. <laughs> The last round, and she's tired. She received a lot of leg kicks, a lot of punches, but she's still believing. She's still moving forward. Yeah, she's moving forward. She's going for a lot of uh, these body shots as well. All the respect for her, both of her. And Paula, she's just moving around really well. For the most part, she's able to get away from uh, what's coming at her with Diana Torquato, keeping her distance, circling the cage, knowing that she does have an advantage, a points advantage, and we think we looks really confident. Letting the pressure on Bittencourt against that fence. She keeps the top of her head on the chin of uh, Bittencourt just to keep control, make it uncomfortable for the novel Neon fighter. And these knees keep coming in. 
Last 30 seconds of this title fight. A vacant belt is up at stake. Who will take it? The advantage so far seems to be to beat the court, but can Torquato do anything? Can she pull the rabbit out of her hat? Can she surprise beat the court? Or will it go down to the judges? Last 10 seconds, she goes for the punches, body punches. She goes up high, she goes down low, and now, that is it for the first title fight of the evening. What a battle between Paula Bittencourt and Diana Torquato. 25 minutes, it's a lot. You know, a lot of respect for both, but there's no doubt Paula Bittencourt she is the new champion. Well, it's going to go to the judge's decision. There, I look over the writing there. That decision's down. I think it's already with our ring announcer, Merlin Calazanes. As you see, the best moments from this five round title fight between the two ladies who are fighting for that band, women's bantamweight belt. Uh, Merlin Calazanes is already inside of the cage. We'll get the announcement soon. We'll also get a post-fight interview with Thales Leches that I will be translating for you guys. A good battle between Diana Torquato and Paula Bittencourt. And we're going to go to the center of the cage with our ring announcer. After five rounds, the judge has all scored 50 45 for the winner. And new Shoto Bantamweight Division Champion, Diana Torquato. Paula sorry, 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 my bad, sorry, my bad, my bad. It's Paula Bittencourt. It's Paula Bittencourt. Sorry, my bad. My bad. My bad. Well, Paula Bittencourt was confirmed the new bantamweight champion of Shuto Brazil. A unanimous decision for Paula Bittencourt, the local. Nova O'Neill athlete. We will get an interview with her shortly. She's talking, uh, having a word with Diana Torquato. But definitely the new champion. She already has that belt around her waist. We're here with the new champion, Paula Bittencourt. Paula, what do you have to say to us after that five-round war? I'm really happy. I trained a lot with my team. I owe my training partners a lot. I don't train with just anybody. I'm not going to say names because there's a lot of people. I was just really prepared for the fight. That was just the beginning of my career. When did you notice that she was feeling uh, uh, those late kicks. I'm going to be sincere. I listen to my trainers a lot. I know that a lot of people are yelling, but I was focusing on boxing, on using my hands. And, and I heard people yelling, go for the calf, go for the calf. I heard them even master saying that. And when I started throwing those kicks, I could tell that she was... Uh, Stumped me a little bit, she felt it, so that's where I, that's where I focused. Ladies and gentlemen, the new champion, Paula Bittencourt. And we will see the, soon enough, the next VT for our next fight.